what's up guys welcome to another tutorial uh, so in this uh, video i'm going to show you how to convert a pdf file into a dwg so we're going to convert a pdf file uh, to a dwg so i'm going to open up civil 3d application uh, maybe you are using uh, the autocad so it's all the same the process is the same uh, there are, there'll be a few changes here and there but uh, this the process uh, is almost similar so uh, if you want to, to import uh, any file be it a pdf or any other type of a file uh, number one there are three around there are more than three methods so the first one is to click on the insert tab and then uh, on the under under the reference uh, group uh, you should be able to see a pdf so for this case uh, under version 2 CO3D version 2022 you can see that uh, there is no PDF but uh, for AutoCAD you should be able to see PDF uh, file then just click on it but for this case we are going to click on attach so if you click on attach you can navigate to where they you have stored your file and then make sure the the file type is uh, PDF or either PDF file or select just select all files so you can now click on a pdf file that you want to import then click open and then uh, do a few settings and then click ok so that's the first method to import a pdf inside the civil 3d the second method is by uh, using a command line uh, just uh, type in import and then uh, hit enter so it's going to open up this uh, uh, window just choose uh, the pdf file that you want to import then click open then you're going to do the settings then click ok and enter so that's the second method so the last method that i'm going to show you uh, just click on the file and then go to import then you should be able to see in uh, AutoCAD, you'll be able to see import PDF. Just uh, choose on it, click on it. But for Civil 3D, you can see that uh, we have we do not have that uh, selection. What we have is import from other formats. There are these other ones, but uh, what we need is in PDF. So we are going to specify import from other formats. And then uh, we're going to navigate to where our file is located, click on it. To then click open so if when you are here in the import pdf window uh, scale i'm going to leave the scale as one uh, because in pdf when import when you're exporting exporting uh, one to one and then uh, i'm going to to leave the layers to use pdf layers and then make sure that these three uh, check boxes are just leave them as default and then uh, you can either uh, decide to choose import as block but for this case i'm not going to import as a block make sure that these three uh, boxes are, che are checked and then uh, click ok so you can now see that uh, we have the drawing imported inside the civil 3d as uh, dwg uh, so what i'm going to do I'm just going to delete uh, what I don't need and remain with the relevant drawing that uh, I want I'm going to work on so now we have you can see now we have uh, the drawing of this uh, of this particular uh, parcels of lands and uh, what I can only do I want to to do some scaling let me let me zoom out a bit and then so you can now select the whole of this drawing and then uh, type cs uh, sc sorry or instead of uh, typing sc you can just go to this particular this one is for scaling select on it and then it's asking you to uh, select the base point the base point so the base point i'm going to choose uh this point here 
and then uh, I'm going to type in R for reference and hit enter so type R for reference and then uh, click enter and then it's going to ask you to specify uh, the length so select that point again and select uh, let's say this point here and then uh, the new distance you can type in the new distance that is 15 uh, uh, 0.02 as per the drawing so the distance is 15 point uh, 0 to not point 0 0.05 and then click enter so and then is it is going to automatically uh, scale down the drawing accordingly so let me just confirm that uh, that distance has been scaled down to 15.02 if i click that you can see that uh, the distance is 15.02 so uh, let's confirm with another uh, let's see about this one here so this is 59.26 9.26 so let, that's okay so that's it for this tutorial so that's the method that uh, you can actually use to uh, convert PDF to DWG. So, uh, see you in the next tutorial.